If COVID-19 ruined your upcoming campus tour, don't worry, we've got you covered. We know picking a law school is a big decision. That's why visiting the campus and getting a feel for the location is so important. To make this easy, we've created a virtual campus tour that highlights law schools based on where they're located on the map. Here's a look at five law schools located on the West Coast in the Los Angeles area. If you're planning on studying in the sand and spending all your free time at the beach, Pepperdine University might be for you. Located in Malibu, California, the Caruso School of Law is ranked eighth in the country and second in the state of California for its experiential learning and providing students with a hands-on curriculum. Pepperdine strives to be the nation's premier faith-based law school. It says by combining academic excellence with its Christian values, this close-knit community is welcoming to all. Students looking at attending the Caruso School of Law can even get their trip out to view the school paid for. A $400 travel expense scholarship is offered to students who are admitted. But getting accepted is as rare as the view of the Pacific Ocean you see here from campus. In 2019, more than 3,000 students applied at the Caruso School of Law. Only 195 got in. As the Hunger Games saying goes, may the odds be ever in your favor. Located just 20 miles east is the home of the Bruins. UCLA is known for its curriculum. Second and third year law students have more than 200 classes to choose from. Even with so many class options, class size remains relatively small. First year students can expect an average class size of 35 to 40, and second and third year students will see about 24 others in their classes. Every year, the Lowell Milken Institute on Business Law and Policy awards $100,000 to students with the most innovative and sustainable ideas for startup companies. This is just one of the unique opportunities UCLA Law provides its students. They also learn from expert faculty members, many of who have been published in books. Unlike many other law schools in the area, prospective students are actually able to sit in on a lecture when visiting the law school. This has to be scheduled ahead of time though, and is only available when in-person tours are offered. With thousands of alumni in every state, law students already have a big network after graduating. So no matter where your career takes you, there will be another alum ready to help. Getting closer to the heart of the city is USC. USC is known to sports fans for being home to Coliseum and a top football team. But Trojans will tell you the law school is a big attraction too. In fact, the law school library is known as the most popular studying spot on campus because of all of the natural light and seating options. And did you know there's a secret time capsule located on the first floor of the law school? See if you can find it, but shh, don't tell anyone it's there. Another fun fact, the Gould School of Law is the oldest law school in the southwestern United States. It was established in 1896, and in the 1960s, it was named after Judge James Gould. This small, tight-knit community has more than 30 student organizations and fosters collaboration. The university also says that one thing students will find at the Gould School of Law is that their professors know them by name, not something a prospective student might think about when considering whether or not to apply at one of the country's largest universities in the second largest city in the United States. Access to the Metro Rail Service is close for USC students, a big selling point for anyone who wants to avoid LA traffic. If you prefer more of an urban setting, consider Southwestern Law School. This school is not affiliated with the university, making it a standalone law school and experience. No car? No problem. Southwestern is located just one block from a metro station. And if the campus looks familiar, it could either be that it's meant to be, or it could also be a classic case of deja vu. This Bullock's Wilshire building you're looking at has been featured in its fair share of movies, commercials, and music videos. After the LA riot back in 1992, the department store that was once located here never came back. The law school then bought this campus out of bankruptcy and spent $29 million renovating it into what it is today, making it one of the top law school buildings in the nation. Class sizes range from 60 to 80 students, and a small population of Southwestern student body is made up of veterans. Each year, the law school has 12 yellow ribbon scholarships to give out to students who fit this profile. Our last law school on this virtual tour is located just across the freeway from the Staples Center in downtown LA. Loyola is affiliated with the university, but the law school campus is miles away in downtown. 
This is a private Catholic university in Southern California that was built for its law students. Literally, the campus was designed by a world-famous architect, Frank Gehry. His design was focused on enhancing how students would study the law. Gehry's inspiration for these warm-colored buildings and prominent columns came from the Romans, and to him, they portray law in the simplest way. But law students have started their own meaning and tradition around the flat tops on these columns. They will toss coins from one of these outside stairways, and the superstition says if the coin lands on top, the student will graduate. This is the only law school in LA that has an on-site chaplain. The law school also holds mass every Wednesday and provides sacrament for its students. More unique facts, Loyola has been ranked the number one school for evening programs outside the East Coast. No matter where you choose to go to law school, remember, Pre-Law Magazine helped you get there. You can subscribe to our newsletter and get a copy of our latest magazine all through our website. That's nationaljurist.com slash prelaw. And if you're looking for a different location, head on over to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.